Hi everyone. Today we're going to be revisiting the life and works of William Francis Gibbs, marine designer and engineer extraordinaire. Now I mentioned William Francis Gibbs originally in my earlier review of the six volume Leviathan set that was authored by Frank Brainard and the book that we'll be looking at shortly by their works Ye Shall Know Them is also authored by Frank Brainard and it was intended as a stepping stone for future historians and biographers to build upon Gibbs's legacy. But let's stop engines for a moment. Let's go back in time and have a look at the life of this interesting man. William Francis Gibbs was born in 1886 and became obsessed with ships when he saw the St. Louis being launched in 1894. <clears throat> From that moment he was absolutely obsessed, totally consumed with ships, their design and particularly their propulsion. Together with his brother Frederick, they put together a set of preliminary plans for a pair of 1,000 foot four funnel express liners that got the attention of J.P. Morgan himself. Unfortunately, World War I intervened and scuttled those plans, but William made his mark on refitting the Leviathan, America's future flagship of the 1920s. The first liner design that he was able to create from the keel up was the Matson liner Malolo which coincidentally demonstrated the benefits of Gibbs's uncompromising approach to safety. As that ship was completing its final sea trials, it was struck by the Norwegian freighter Jacob Christensen, creating a large gash under the bridge on the port side. Even though 7,000 tons of water filled the ship, the watertight bulkheads did their job perfectly, and with only a 5 degree trim to the bow, the Malolo was safely towed back into harbour. That ship would go on to have an incredibly successful career spanning over four decades and worthy of a book all on its own. In 1932, Gibbs produced the four ship Santa Paula class, a set of liners for the Grace Line. They introduced his trademark windswept funnel that he would further refine on other American liners such as the America, lately the Australis, and the SS United States. The Grace Liners also incorporated a cool new invention, which they called the Sea Garage. Basically, a passenger could drive their own car onto a designated space inside the ship, park it, and literally take the car with them on the voyage. The 1930s also allowed Gibbs to let his imagination run wild, and he produced an absolutely crazy battleship aircraft carrier concept. That was seriously considered by the Soviet Navy. And for those who are interested in that particular design, may I recommend the chapter set aside in Stephen McLaughlin's book, Russian and Soviet Battleships. But back to Gibbs and his other work. Also in the 1930s, he was pioneering high-speed steam machinery. And this got the attention of the United States Navy. And that partnership resulted in the development of several destroyer classes, including the Marne, Sims, Benson, and Gleaves. As World War II came about, Gibbs's firm rose to the challenge and they designed the Atlanta class cruisers, were fundamental in creating the landing ship, which was pivotal to the perfection of amphibious warfare that was used on both theatres of the war, the Atlantic and the Pacific, as well as playing a large role in designing the iconic Liberty ship. In 1952, Gibbs produced his masterpiece, the SS United States, the fastest ocean liner of its day, and still afloat right now in Philadelphia, just waiting to be preserved. Franks's book is a catalogue of the impressive variety of ships and ship types that Gibbs's firm worked on. He has, in addition to a summary of what was done and the standout features of those designs, he has also ensured that there is a photograph either of the specific ship or ship type that is illustrated within the book. 
in addition to an account of his designs, we also get to see how Gibbs himself developed from an obsessive shy boy into an obsessive no-nonsense man who absolutely loved to solve problems. We also get to have a look inside his personality through anecdotes from those who knew him best as well as quotes from the great man himself. My favourite quote from Gibbs being this one where he has said People think I am mean because I like ships more than I like people. I can relate. Nothing wrong there. I can relate. This is quite a rare book now. Uh, you can see the, the cellophane cover is quite tattered. This was published in 1968. And it would be fantastic if the book were to be expanded and updated because Gibbs's firm is still in business today, having designed the Perry class frigates, the Ali Burke class destroyers, and more recently, the Freedom class littoral combat ships. However, there are two other more modern and accessible books. There is The Big Ship, the story of the SS United States by none other than Frank Baynard himself, and much of the early chapters is taken verbatim from Gibbs's biography. So you have this one. And you also have Stephen Ushifuz's work, A Man and His Ship. This is quite a different writing style, and we get a very lively account of Gibbs's earlier years. Although, as with the other book, they focus primarily on Gibbs and his work on creating the SS United States. Now, for those who want to understand how American shipping evolved in the 20th century, as well as the creation of some of the longest-lived passenger liners, I mean, we're not just talking about the United States here and the Malolo. Gibbs also designed the four Santa Paula class, two of which survived into the 60s. You also have the America, which went on to be the Australis, and that survived right through until 1994. So if you want to understand just how some of these iconic liners came about, in addition to wider design practices of the 20th century, then this is a well-informed starting point and a solid four out of five captain's hats. I hope you found this quick overview of Gibbs's life, as well as the review of By These Works You Shall Know Them, to be both informative and interesting. If you'd like me to continue to do more mini-documentaries in addition to book reviews, just let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new reviews that come out every Wednesday. And until the next time, enjoy and happy reading everyone!